Welcome back to Portal 2. This is the Dancing Sousa. Okay, last I remember we were just running around on the outskirts of nowhere. Trying to figure out what to do. Because Weebly took over and went insane. Sorry about that. I'm rendering a video at the same time, so it's getting a to be a little much on my system, I suppose. Oh my. That's the kind of water you die if you fall into, isn't it? Oh. Oh, you dissolve. Okay. That's frightening. I don't know quite what's going on, but I feel safer up here than I do on that railing. So, here is where we're gonna go. Actually, I can't open that door, but can I see enough through this one to get a portal down? Yep. Okay, so I can use this if I can get a portal down there. Oh, hello. Oh, crap. Dang it. Ah, I missed. I'm gonna get this, and I think it's what I'm supposed to be doing. Not entirely certain, of course. Woo! Got it. There's a thousand tests performed every day here in our mission spheres. I can't personally oversee every one of them, so these pre recorded messages will cover any questions you might have. And respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. Your test assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will. Those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today, just follow the blue line on the floor. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you. Fighting an army of mantis men. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. You'll know when the test starts. Going up. I think one of the cool things about Portal is you don't spend every moment looking over your shoulder for a new enemy. I mean... <laughs> There are enemies in the turrets, and in Gladys, and now Weebly, but they don't follow you. You know very clearly when they're there. Oh my, that's a long way down. Okay. Oh, I've got a wall, I can just plop a portal on there. Oh, 
what am I missing? Well, it's about to be missing the rest of my life. Oh. There we go. Perfect. Just a heads up, we're going to have a superconductor turned up full blast when it's pointed at you for the duration of this next test. I'll be honest, we're throwing science at the wall here to see what sticks. No idea what it'll do. Probably nothing. Best case scenario, you might get some superpowers. Worst case, some tumors, which we'll cut out. Oh, okay. Sounds good. I'd agree to that kind of testing, wouldn't you? Okay, now I really don't know what I'm doing. Uh... Yeah, got nothing. Vitrified. You know, some of these doors, like this one here, have a little label on them. B09S. I wonder if those have anything to do with, like, how Gladys was talking about my family. I think that's a portal wall. But I can't get to it. Hmm. You know, the entire facility being in a complete state of disrepair kind of slows things down a little. What happens if I just walk down these stairs? Is there something to see? Or... Yeah, I'm not really getting the feeling that there's something to see. Maybe. I mean, this entire game's made of puzzles, so... Maybe. I'll be back when I figure this one out, guys. Okay, guys, I think I figured something out. There's a little slanted area right there. And I think I need to get to there. Maybe. Don't know. Point is, at the bottom of this elevator shaft, is a portal uh, area. Oh god. Ha! It worked! Sweet! Okay. I'm very glad that worked. Okay. This looks important. science from scratch. That means they rebuilt math, renamed numbers, and did everything on their own. Alright, let's get started. This first step involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. Not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. 
<laughs> well, joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. Ah, uh, lag. I really need to stop rendering videos at the same time that I'm doing this. Oh. Okay, let me, just for the moment, uh, okay, welcome back. You might notice my game looks a bit different, and it's still lagging. That did absolutely nothing to help me. Jeez, okay, I'll be, okay, welcome back. So, as of the time of this recording, I should probably lay off on my recording of this series quite so much, because, quite frankly, I just have way too many episodes backlogged. I just can't stop playing the game. Okay. Well, how do I get over to this? There we go. And this button probably drops more stuff, then. Oh yeah, it drops a cube. Oh. Old fashioned. The lab boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I'd be the filter. I can talk about the control group all damn day. Whatever you say, sir. Now where am I supposed to go? Just a second, guys. I plug in my laptop here. Okay, now that I can actually make out the screen, where am I supposed to go? Okay, so I can't portal up there. Nope. Next test chamber this way. So I'm probably supposed to go that way, but... It's looking kind of tough at the moment. Pull out. Got something. That works. For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. Okay. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pop experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing leather pants, we took care of that too. Okay, so... Oh, hey. But it disappears as soon as I move. So obviously, I need a cube.
Okay, let's not fall in that hole. This is nice. I can work with this. Fix this. I can fix this. How do I fix this? Right. Okay. Damn it. One of these days I'll get it right, guys. One of these days. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm going to do one more test and call it quits for this video because I have no idea how long I've been recording because I had to stop for a while because I wanted to let my other video finish rendering. All these science fears are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator and makes a happy face. Okay, caution. Do not lean on that. Okay. I, I think I can manage that. Hmm. Exit. <laughs> yeah. That's a real help. So let's see here. I've got a portal wall here. A portal wall here. And I've got a portal wall there. I really don't know what good that does me. Because I really don't know where I'm trying to get to. a wall up there. To a little platform. I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. We never set a good fireman just for being a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Thanks for sense. Okay, so I just covered somewhere. I think I just got covered in that stuff. Which is bad for my skeleton. <sighs> I need to get over there.
Let me just cover this place in this loop. Okay. Now what? I need to use that to launch me. I know that much. blue portal there. I'll just drop an orange portal. Okay, I didn't even mean for that to actually happen, but I'm very glad I placed that jump goo there by accident. I'm not going to argue with that kind of brilliance. <laughs> like I said, I'm going to make that the last one for this video. Now, if you're part of Control Group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your cell. Most likely you forgot it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Oh. Well, I think that should be enough for this video. Thanks for watching. This is The Dancing Susan, signing out.